Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to share some tips for changing the font size in your Power BI reports. So I'm first going to explain the page zoom and size features and then I will share some tips for quickly changing the text size within your visuals. So within this report here, I've just added a regular matrix visual. And as you can see, the font size is pretty small. It's pretty hard to read here. And there's a few things causing this. Uh, first of all, I have the app, the Power BI desktop app. I have it resized to a smaller portion of my screen size. So if I were to maximize the app, uh, that would change the font size here. It changes the view, the zoom really is what it's changing there. And now we can see the text. However, you might be working on a laptop or a smaller screen, uh, or you don't want it to take up as much uh, screen real estate. And in this case, it's pretty hard to read this text. So there's a few things we can do to change this. Uh, first of all, we can go to the View tab on the ribbon, and here in the Page View dropdown, uh, it's currently default set to Fit to Page. However, we can change this to Actual Size, and that will zoom in to 100% zoom or resolution. Now you'll also notice that this does add some horizontal scrolling here and some vertical scrolling as well. So that's one drawback of this, but at least you'll be able to read the text here uh, at this smaller app size. And then another thing you can do is actually change the size of the page itself. So if we were to go back here to the standard fit to page, we can actually change the page size. If we just select or click anywhere on the page, uh, over here in the Format tab, we can change the page size. It's currently set to 16 by 9 uh, ratio, but if we go to Custom here, the default width and height is 1280 by 720. And this looks great if you're using a regular size monitor like I am, which is 1920 by 1080. Uh, this page size works well. It also works well for the web. But if for some reason you want to change this, you can do that here and change it to a smaller page size. So if we were to just let's say change it to uh, 800 by 600, something like that, or maybe even a little smaller. We could see now that the text is a little bigger. Uh, we might have to change the height here to something even smaller, maybe like 400 to get us to a 100% uh, zoom. So that's another way to go about this. Just know that you lose page size there. You won't be able to fit as many visuals on the page as you make the page size smaller. So we'll uh, quickly change that back there, 1280 uh, by 720. And another thing we can do is actually change the font size or the text size within the visuals. And I'll share a quick tip for doing that. So if we just select the visual here, and then we go over to the Format tab, uh, there are different sizes within each of these sections for the different properties. We can go to the grid down here and then we can scroll down to find the text size. Uh, but there's different sizes, dif different text sizes for each of these different sections or properties of the visual, these different elements. So if we go into column headers, we'll see a text size here as well. One way to quickly view all of those is if we go up to the search bar and just type in uh, text size. Just type that right there. That will uh, filter down all the results for all of the text size properties for the different elements within the visual. And then with the matrix visual, we can actually just change the text size for the grid. So if we wanted this to be a 12, we can change that. And for this particular visual, that will change all of the other text sizes for the other elements. So we can see if we scroll down now, these will all change. Now, if you've changed one of these individually, that'll override that change at this level. So just know that if you've already changed the text size for column headers to something else, and then you go try and change this one, uh, it'll only change the text size for the grid. And then another nice feature here, if we go over to a page that has multiple visuals, we'll go to this page here, if we select one of these visuals, and then again, we'll go format and we'll search our text size. And that again will show us all of the elements and the text sizes that we can change here, all these different properties with text sizes. Uh, we can go in and change these individually for this particular visual. But if we select another visual, I'll select this visual here, uh, that same filter will still be applied. So we can now just select that visual and then we can go change the text sizes here as well without having to research or do another search for text size again. So as you click through to your other visual, 
individuals. Uh, this is one way that you can quickly change text sizes between visuals if you want to do that for the entire report. And then one last tip, if you are constantly changing the text sizes for your visuals, there is a new feature with themes uh, that will allow you to control the text size uh, for the different visuals. And currently you do this by importing a JSON file. So you can go uh, write the code in the JSON file for the font sizes or the text sizes for all the properties uh, for the different visuals and the elements within those. So it might be quite a bit of upfront work, but if this is something you're doing every day, you can create a theme for that. And there's a link right here uh, or a button that will take you to a page that explains more about creating that theme and the JSON file. And then one final tip for zooming in on visuals is focus mode. So at the top right corner of every visual is this focus mode button and clicking that will zoom in on the visual and make it the full size of the page. Now, of course, this hides the other visuals that are on the page, uh, but at least it'll make the text larger and readable. And then you can click the back to report button up here to go back to the page and see all of the visuals on the page. So I hope those tips help you make your reports a little bit easier to read. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.